I am Gary Berkovich. I am president of the Beach Hebrew Institute, a congregation that has been active in the beaches for just over a hundred years. Well, the Beach Interface Committee came about, uh, I would say about 10 years ago, probably a little bit more, under the auspices uh, for us of Ari Nerman, who was the director, well, the president of the Beach Hebrew Institute for a very long time. And we, along with four other uh, confessional institutions, pulled together and created this feeding program. We called it the drop-in. And the drop-in was because it wasn't just feeding people, it was providing them with socialization. There were people who this was their only chance at speaking to somebody else in the day. And that was probably as important, if not more important, than giving people food. Food, you can get anywhere. Companionship, uh, socialization, these are important things. And things that we try to maintain up until COVID, when we are now restricted in having people in the building. We ended up um, uh, creating brown bag lunches. So people would show up, we had a table set up next to the building, uh, just outside, big umbrella if it was inclement weather. The meals are kosher, or kosher style, but kosher. And uh, we tried over the, over the time that we were running this program, to include various different specifically Jewish things like homentashen, a little pastry that one eats uh, during Purim, or potato lakas, potato pancakes that are typical, typically consumed for Hanukkah. Or this past year, we actually did fried matzah. Matzah is the dried, uh, unleavened bre uh, bread that the Israelites ate on their escape from Egypt. The people who come and make use of our services, uh, certainly at this point, the, uh, the, the, the brown bag lunches, are not homeless. They have places to live. And they are not without any means. They have some means. But we help them get along a little better. If you have the extra five to $10 in your pocket at the end of the week, then that, that's, that for, for some people, this is an absolute necessity. A lot of our clientele are regulars. So we know that we have about 20 to 30 who are going to show up. They would fall through the cracks. They weren't badly off enough that they weren't getting stuff, but on the other hand, it was very, very helpful that we were there. This is the nature of humans. This is what we do. We help each other. We, we're like bonobos. We do help each other. We're very good at that. It, 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 it's a traditional Jewish concept. From the very beginning, our very first books talk about leaving a, a, a tenth of your field for the gleaners. Maimonides had uh, a chart of benefits of charity. So there were orders of charity and it keeps on going up to the best level of charity is understood as you give, but you do not know who you're giving to. And I take, but I do not know who has given me. That is the best level of charity. There was this very, very righteous, pious rabbi who was involved in raising funds for the poor. And he would go from house to house, from door to door, asking for money so that he could give it out along the, the lines of, of Maimonides because he was the agent. The people that gave him the money would never know who got it and the people who got it would never know who gave him. And he comes to this one house that a very, very beautiful, big house and a very, very wealthy man lived there. And the rabbi came to his door and knocked and he came and, what do you want? I'm coming to ask for And he, the man looked at him and he spat in his face. 
So the rabbi wipes his face off and said, thank you, that is what you gave to me. Now what are you going to give to the poor? <laughs>